Later this week, Again, it's October. We're expecting a high Thursday of 88 degrees in Raleigh, 90 in Fayetteville, way above average for this time of year, which is 76 and 78, but also below our record highs. Record high 96 in 1954, definitely not ready for that, 97 in 1941 in Fayetteville. So it's going to be warm, but at least not record setting. It's also going to continue to be dry. I know we had enough rain to last us a while back in September, but now we can't go too long and go the other direction. No rain in the state right now. The closest rain is way up toward north of the capital. Uh, we're going to keep it dry for the next several days until a cold front starts to flirt with us later this week. Before we get to the weekend, though, we've got to get through Wednesday. Your Wednesday morning will start off comfortable. I mean, it's not overly oppressive in the morning, at least. There could be a little bit of patchy fog. Aaron and Paul will be here tomorrow starting at 430 to help steer you out the roads and doors safely. 70 degrees by 9 a.m. on our way to 80 at lunchtime. Remember, average high mid to upper 70s. We're already going to be above that by lunchtime on our way to a high of 86. But we will again keep it dry with a nice mix of sun and clouds. You know, speaking of Florence, uh, it's been kind of busy in the uh, weather office the last few weeks, and I haven't had a lot of time to do super sunsets or super sunrises. So we're going to try to get back into the swing of things tonight. As you know, or if you're new to the program, every night at 11, I try to show pictures that you send in to us of super sunrises or super sunsets. We start with a super sunrise tonight. This over in Cary in the Crossroads area. Pete sends us some great pictures throughout the year, but he just happened to be here at the Crossroads area with his cell phone, and that's how amazing Mother Nature is. She lets us take great pictures with our cell phones. So you can do the same thing. I put this on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page. If you've got a great picture you want to share with us, drop me a line anytime. Send it at CBS17.com. Now, the other story here is the sun's coming up at 7-11. So sunrises are getting later, sunsets are getting earlier, our days continue to get shorter and our days continue to get warmer because as we look at the weather map, yes, there's a cold front, but it's not ours. High pressure, a pattern that we usually see set up in the summertime is setting up the rest of this week and high pressure will stick around tomorrow, keeping us dry, helping to warm us up just a couple of degrees, probably not noticeable, but after a few more days of this, you'll notice it for sure. And those few more days include Thursday and Friday, expected to be our warmest days as high pressure again sits offshore in a position we normally see in July and August. Highs will be near 90, but look, another cold front. Unfortunately, because this is not a typical October, this one's not going to mess with us either. Here's what's going to happen. I'll put the maps into motion for the weekend. High pressure flexes its muscle, keeps this thing to the north so we don't see a drastic cool down. We don't have a good rain chance this weekend. We've got small rain chances this weekend. And remember, we've seen this a few times the last couple weeks. When a cold front turns horizontal like this, kind of lining up west to east instead of north to south, that shows us it's weakening and there's just not a lot to it. And it's not going to make it here this time. But, you know, the state fair is right around the corner, and you know it always gets chilly sometime during the state fair. So like clockwork, it starts a week from Thursday. Eventually, I'll have some cooler weather, but it's not in the next week to 10 days. What we have tomorrow, 87 and done, 88 down in Hope County, 87 in Moore County. Again, a little bit warmer, but I don't think you'll notice it. 88 for you guys in Wayne County, 90 in Clinton on the third day of October. We'll, keep, we'll stick with mid-80s along the Virginia border, about 85 or 86 here in the Triangle. And from that 86 tomorrow, we go up to 88 Thursday and Friday. It's just a 10% chance of rain Friday as the front gets closer, and only 20 percenters this weekend. Highs in the mid-80s, so technically a little cooler, but again, nothing noticeable, nothing that's going to make you say, oh, wow, feels great this October you fill in the date. Just not going to happen in the next week. Next Monday, Columbus Day. Next Monday is also the two-year anniversary of Hurricane Matthew. So as we all have learned, hurricanes can happen in October, but I don't see anything on the horizon, thank goodness. But what I do see is a seven-day with all 80s. No 90s, okay, so that's the good news. I mean, we've had 90s in October, um, but also no 70s, which is what we should be having. So welcome to uh, October, as everyone is calling <laughs> August and October. We're waiting until a week from Thursday, right? When the fair the starts, fair. Right. hopefully we'll see some changes. Okay, I'm not then. saying the first day of the fair is going to get chilly. I'm saying in that 10 day span. Okay, that's all right. Okay. Well, we can take we'll that. Take, I got, yeah, we'll so take. I got 10, I got, I got 17 days. You have days. a month? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Wes, thanks.